Okay guys, we're at a place called Crockett's and uh, you can reserve a spot for right by the Christmas tree by going on to Google and just pressing the button, uh, add me to the waiting list. So you're gonna wanna do that. If you come here, you wanna add to the waiting list, all right? You guys ready to take a look at the menu? Okay guys, this is the menu. It's in a newspaper form, which is weird because everybody's gonna be going to those QR codes soon, I know it. It's time to keep changing. Anyway, let's uh, open this up and get to the food. Okay, I'll show you the menu. You take a look at it. You can pause the video at any time you want to. Then you got your griddle cakes. Chopped steak and eggs. Giant cinnamon roll. Oh, community coffee, that's a big name. Let me just give you a warning. This restaurant is in Gatlinburg. It's kind of hilly around here. The restaurant parking is very minimal. This is packed. So you pretty much can't find a spot to get a park across the street uh, in paid parking. So uh, you go over there and it's $5 for the first hour and the second hour also or not? $10. Oh, $10 all day. Oh, $10 all day. So I think it would be Yeah. So we can come back here. But um, you got you got stores and everything around here too. It's, it's like downtown Gatlinburg, okay? Be real careful. It's hard to walk. It's very hilly. Uh, big slopes. Okay, so your your eggs got overcooked just a little bit. I mean, look at the brownness. That's like they should have known better than that. Okay, what'd you get? This is the quesadilla. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And just remind everybody if you want the tortillas and sour cream. Thank you so much. You gotta ask Thank for you. it. Is this online? Yours. What comes with it? What comes with it? It's a nice looking omelet. It really is. You got your toast too. Cool. Look at those salt and pepper shakers. They're huge. I'm afraid of how much is going to come out. Two big mason jars. That's awesome. All right. So I got the Ho Jimmy Jose's uh, scramble. And on my dish, the sour cream and the corn tortilla, you want to ask for that when you order it. All right. And then uh, Tammy's quesadilla looks amazing. Go ahead and try yours. Oh, you got it too? Yeah. Cheese, wow. bacon, everything. So it's a breakfast quesadilla. Yeah. Huh? It's not like the regular quesadillas we get for dinner. No. All right, cool. Look at that. A little bit of sour cream, a little bit of salsa. This is my wife's OCD. She's got to build it and make it perfect. I love that about her. Good. Oh, so that's uh, that's a plus to order. I wouldn't order just eggs because they you know, overcook the eggs there. And uh, the omelets look good. And then uh, this, I will try this right now. Yeah, it's like they used to, they used to put a dumbbell in. Yeah, look at the bacon. Mm -hmm. A lot of meat in there. Really cooked, huh? Alright, let's try this out. But they don't skimp on the meat. Look at that. It's almost all meat. That's amazing. Kind of a, a Hispanic type of breakfast. Let me try this. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it's like a, is that like a hash or a corn hash or something? Oh, a little corn ball. 
Okay, so as I'm eating my breakfast, I start to notice there's no eggs in my scramble. So there's supposed to be three egg, it's supposed to be a three egg scramble. And there's no eggs in there. And my waiter was totally surprised too. She's like, he's like, there's no eggs in there? I'm like, no, nope, not one. There's supposed to be three. So anyway, he took it back and they're making me a new plate. Let's see what they bring out this time. The second plate. Now in this, this scramble should be three eggs. Um, you see an egg in there? Oh yeah, there it's underneath. I can smell the egg. I can smell the egg. Yeah, so they made a big improvement. And that Pico de Gallo is really good too. They just give me a whole fresh plate. Okay, here's my final comment. Guys, that's mostly cheese. You can see there are bits of eggs. But if there's three eggs in that dish, I will just shut down my cooking show right now. Because I know what three eggs look like in a dish. Okay guys, we just finished breakfast and I just want to say that um, the eggs came out as requested. I thought they looked a little dark, but that's how she wanted them. So that's perfect eggs. Uh, the bacon was very strong. Their bacon is extremely powerful. The smoke flavor, it's a pecan bacon. Um, it was, the tons of it was in the omelet. Uh, the only uh, thing we had problems with was my, uh, my dish. I ordered a three egg scramble uh, the flavor was great, but I couldn't find an egg anywhere in my dish. I brought it back and got another dish. I didn't see three eggs in there either. And I'm telling you, I know I've worked with eggs before. I've added eggs in. I've done eggs, peppers, and onions. I mean, I know how much three eggs looks like. I couldn't find one egg in that dish. If I, I, There were small pieces. Tammy picked out a few pieces that were egg-related. But do we have three eggs in that dish? I don't know. So uh, the, the uh, manager was very cool about it. He took it off the bill, I gave it back, and I said thank you very much, and that was it. So um, it, it is a very popular place. You do wanna join the waiting list through Google. You can press a button and get on the waiting list. Kinda like um, Great Clips. So uh, they were very helpful. I'm not gonna knock them uh, other than for that one dish, that's it. Everything tasted great though. All the flavors were great. My server was great. My manager was great. So um, we're going to give this place a B. Um, and uh, let me know what your experience was like. Let me know if you're going to plan on going up to Gatlinburg. Uh, if you're going soon, I want to thank David for making the suggestion. And um, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.